Not just being a HIV positive mom, but being a mom is, is hard. Even more stressful when you've got um, HIV. Hi, my name is Janet Aranitui. I'm a mother living with HIV. I first discovered I had HIV when I was 19, a couple of years before that, I found out about my mum's diagnosis because she told me when I was 17, but I didn't know that I could have had it from birth from her. I just had my first sexual experience. I wanted to know if I caught something, so it was only for precaution. It was like, I got good news and I got bad news for you. All your swabs came back negative, but you're HIV positive. I felt numb instantly. He was just there just being normal like it was normal for him to just tell me that I have HIV. Mum didn't know that I had HIV. I had to tell mum that I was born with HIV when I found out. We got to find this out by doing a DNA test. That's how it was identified that I was born with HIV. My grandma took me to get a test when I was about six so she knew that I had HIV but she never told my mum because she didn't want to upset her. My mum was so far away and being the only child she didn't want to disappoint her. I didn't know that I could have children who are HIV negative. I knew it was going to be challenging but it was a challenge that I could overcome, which is exactly what I did. I took my medication regularly, I visited my doctors on time, I followed all their advice. Eventually I got the results that I wanted. I'm going to be the first person in the UK to have um, three consecutive children who are HIV negative. Having a C-section, choosing not to breastfeed and taking your medication on time all the time. Those are my three pointers. Delivering healthy HIV negative children. I'm a type of person who I, I like to treat people how I want to be treated so I'm always open about my status. I always had to think about what am I going to say to him? Do I even want to link this person because the minute I open my mouth to say that I have HIV I'm going to be judged and stereotyped and criticised. You don't want your significant other to have these questions about your character just because you have a virus. Pregnancy is extremely challenging for me. I've had adverse reaction to medication. My feet do get swollen, extremely swollen. My ankles, my bones hurt. Extreme fatigue. I'm always vomiting and it's not like your normal little vomit. I vomit like 20 times a day. 100% stigma still exists, not just in the UK, worldwide. People living with HIV are still outcasted. One time my neighbour came to like help me to wash my dishes, but she didn't know about my HIV. I didn't have enough strength and I was vulnerable at that time, so I opened to her about my HIV status. She called me and she was like, Janet, I've got to ask you something. I'm really sorry, but I have to ask you. You know that one time where we um, are at, from your house that you think I could have HIV this mean no you can't so things like that still do exist where people think sharing from a plate or you know sharing a cigarette you could still catch HIV. A hundred percent because of the stigma I'm having to start to rethink on how do I shield my children because obviously I don't want them to be stigmatized because of my illness it would really really break my heart if my children were outcast, like let's say in the playground, were treated how I was treated in Uganda because of my virus. Most people are shocked. They think it's a miracle, and to a certain extent it is a miracle. <laughs> the most genuine reactions that I get are mainly the young people. They're more like, rah, are you sure? Are you serious? But how though, like, how do you still have sex and like, how come your man don't have it? And I tell them how like, obviously we use condoms all the time. When I decide to have children, there are ways of going about it without making him sick. The most shocking reaction I get that, and that pisses me off is from the health professions. You expect a GP or a nurse to have at least basic knowledge on HIV transmission. As soon as they find out that you have HIV, 
the first thing they think of is the children why would you instantly think that my kids have it and you're in the health profession and then it's me having to educate them I'm um, an ambassador to Body and Soul, which is a charity that's based here in the UK that helps support people affected by HIV and AIDS. Through Body and Soul, I've done a lot of outreach. I was first introduced to the charity when I was um, newly diagnosed, and it had a fundamental impact on how I perceived HIV. I couldn't even speak about HIV before. The stigma had impacted on me so much where to a certain extent I didn't want to even be associated with the word HIV. But I've come from that person to the, the person I am now. I wouldn't be a woman living with HIV positively in the UK if it wasn't for body and soul.